Hello Galaxy Heroes. So this one is the last of these, I promise. Um, this is my main account. This is Mike, Mike Hunt's account. Um, and after making a video earlier where I was extolling, extolling, extolling the virtues of Ahsoka Tano and her basic, which removes buffs um, and the reason for high, highlighting it here is that um, these droids gain this, was it protection up or whatever, I, I, I can't for the life of me remember now what the actual technical name is for it, but it's the purple stuff that they gain and how long that takes to clear through. So I uh, I did a video on on my alt account York York Hunt, um, yeah, did his, and that was with um, a Mr Beardy lead, aka General Kenobi, uh, and I think I put in, I put in a Hermit Yoda as well, rather than Barris. Barris would have worked better and would have made a a five Galactic Republic squad. So I did that, um, and then I also, from my main, did um, the highest five-star requirement challenge because I have got a five-star Shek T, and I ran her in a Galactic Republic squad uh, with a Mr. Beardy lead again, I believe. So done those. Um, and then was a pondering, and that's when I decided to try a different Galactic Republic lead, and I remembered somewhere hidden in the back of my inventory is this dusty uh, Liam Neeson, who's going to find them and kill them, apparently. So, yeah, it was like, oh, trip down memory lane, nostalgia, right at the beginning of playing, um, Kaigon and... Jedi Knight Anakin were like two peas in a pod. They were, yeah, they were meta at one point. Um, one's kind of returned after a long lapse. The other one, not so much. So I thought, yeah, yeah. After seeing so many memes of uh, Jolie <laughs> bringing everyone back, um, I thought that this would be a a trip down memory lane and also a challenge can my uh, ability level seven i.e non zated kaigon jin who's pretty slow um lead a galactic republic jedi squad to uh, complete the mythic tier and yeah so this this for me was the acid test. If we could get through this one here, phase four against um, Grievous, who does the horrible death mark thing, then we were golden. So the only, we've kind of got two healers here. Um, we've got the one healer in Ahsoka on her special. Um, and we also have Look, bonus protection gone. Look, ability block. Old uh, Mr. Beardy's not looking too happy, but I do like the fact that as, as they're all Galactic Republics. But now see, see, he's gone from yellow to green and an awful lot of bonus protection, courtesy of, uh, I, I love this exchange. Um, Grandmaster Yoda does the bouncy, let's have everything, including that bonus protection thing. And he takes it, snips, removes theirs, and then Grandmaster Yoda shares it with all the Jedis. Ha, how do you like it, joints? How, how do you like it? Huh? Huh? Shoes on the other foot now, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I was getting a little bit childish there, but it, it felt good. So, as far as I'm concerned, we've got through the acid test that is 
grievous. The rest of this is just, all right, well, so when everyone's stealthed, no one is stealthed. Only problem there, of course, is that when you use a special ability that calls in Ahsoka, um, one of them is no longer stealthed because she removes that buff. I think now I'm just holding the, uh, I don't, yeah, there's only one of them. Oh, no, I'm not holding the special. Oh, no, I wanted to heal Mr. Beardy, who was getting a bit low. But being the only tank, and uh, not really having a proper healer in the, the squad. Can't remember which way I go. Do I go special? I think I might do. No, no, I don't go special. Yay. Quite enough in there to take him down. He's really not looking too healthy now. I'm starting to get a bit concerned. Maybe I have bitten off more than I can chew with this particular challenge. I thought <laughs> completing the clone training with Jar was. Gear 11 jail was was, uh, was a bold step, but this one was a bit like, ooh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get rid of it, because I know that's, yeah, yay. The so spy's gone, but of course, we've still got B2 there. Um, if we go for anyone else, then we're gonna proc him, and that will be the end of Mr. Beardy in this challenge. And he's proving super rare. There we are. Got him gone. No, but there. There we lose our tank. So now we've got two phases to complete. With no support and our group attack gone. What we still have though, of course, is lots and lots of dual attacks because everyone with Ahsoka um, has quite a few specials. So I've gone quiet. I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I think I'm remembering that I'm not so bothered about the fact of um, them getting this bonus protection. So I did that, brought it back to kind of why. So final thoughts as we're wrapping this up, uh, wrapping this up, we've got one more thing to go, was I was pondering, um, I jokingly said that Kit Fistu was the missing piece for the Galactic Republic squad. Um, We've got Shakti come in and she fits in very nicely into a Galactic Republic squad. Um, and there's a lot of Galactic Republic members and they there are also quite a few leaders in there. Um, of course, we've got Mace. Will he ever get the rework? And I'm hoping that I recall properly that they correctly that they did say that he was one getting one i'm pretty sure that kit fisto is and uh, same with eve Koth. so it was the pondering then of just how many different galactic republic squads will we be able to field and will they all kind of be this sort of level I'm just looking at who's there I mean so what this is kind of proving here I, I think is that having actually the one missing as well having Kenobi with Ahsoka JKA and Grandmaster Yoda um, is a very very solid base for a squad that will take on most squads 
in this one we could I know we can all you know we can all just rev in this but it was to see whether or not um, uh, you know it could be done without Revan Jedi Knight Revan also without Bastilla Shan I think prior to this it was having the Zeta on although they did change it the, did they change it or has he he's always been immune to shock on that Zeta? I don't know. I don't have it anyway. Grandmaster Yoda's leave. This is kind of like the one of the one of the few places where it, it proved, you know, really good to have. I don't recall seeing a win with Kaigon. I'm sure there was. I'm not saying for any moment that this is some sort of record. I no, no, not at all. The only record I would claim for this is just how bad this gear. I mean, I know he's gear 12, but just how bad he is. He's you know 200 speed maybe a, a push, but that's because you know when do we get to use? But now, just down to Pogo the lesser. There's the dinosaurs v or the dinosaur versus the dinosaur. Yay. Dinosaur one. Who'd have thunk? So that is it. Mythic tier with a Kaigon lead Galactic Republic Jedi. I'm pretty pleased I did that. Thank you for watching.